Hello there. And today we're going to take a look in this uh, Microsoft training video at uh, custom fields and project center views. So when I say that, what you know, what am I really talking about? And, um, and many times customers will see a certain view and they'll say, that's what I want. And this is really what I'm talking about, right? So project center and project in line is where you're able to see all the projects across the organization. You know, typically there's a, a basic vanilla out of the box view that's called the summary cost and a few others. You know, they're pretty bland, but um, you're able to create custom fields in which you're able to group your projects. In this case, they're grouped by project status. We can see projects in initiation, projects in planning. So you're able to group the projects by something that's meaningful to your organization and project attribute, um, which will give you a much better picture of projects, uh, you know, the aggregate cost information you'll get. You'll also understand how the projects are staged in this particular view anyway, by the uh, methodology, right? And you're also able to create graphical indicators. In this particular view, I have ROI, return on investment. Another example of that uh, type of view where you're able to group your projects would be by program, for instance, right? So there's asset management projects in that particular program, corp website projects in the corporate website program. And again, I have some graphical again, indicators for, uh, to, you know, just to communicate graphically how we're tracking with regard to overall health, cost schedule, return on investment, how the aggregates for my cost and my benefits. And of course, the you have the Gantt bars here, which you, know, you can see the programs, each project within, where their start dates are staged, and, uh, you know, if there is progress, how much progress is within each one of those projects. Uh, that's really what I want to demonstrate today how we get there and the steps to get there will be as follows. The first thing we're going to do is create uh, lookup tables and basically lookup tables are, are a way to contain a list of values and you basically use lookup tables in this tool when you want to standardize uh, on the data, you know, in, in this case, so it's a really important factor to, to be able to standardize on those values. In this case, um, yeah, we're going to create a business unit field and I want to always have uh, specific values selected and the way you can accomplish that is with the lookup table. Next we're going to create custom field and those custom fields basically leverage the lookup tables because the lookup tables are, are really nothing until you have a custom field that specifies the lookup table as the place in which their list of items are derived. Uh, following that we'll go ahead and create a custom project center view add those fields to it, and then we'll go ahead and group the projects by uh, one of the new fields I create, which is going to be strategic business unit. And then finally, we need to test this. So uh, here's a scenario. We're going to create a, a business unit lookup table and custom field and overall health lookup table and custom field. We'll add them to a new project center view that we create. And then we will uh, populate those fields for our sample projects. And then finally, we will test the results and hopefully things will work out just fine. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is create lookup tables. Now let's uh, we're in Estimary Custom Fields and Lookup Tables here. I click on New Lookup Table, and uh, the thing we're going to do here is um, right. I need to create a business unit field, custom lookup table here. And there's there's several settings here. I'm going to leave the type as text. You can see the lookup tables can contain several different types of data. We're just going to have textual values. And the only thing I really care about are the values here. The, so there's several columns, but um, I'm just going to be you know, keep it simple here. SBU, um, let's call this SBU one, right? SBU two, SBU three, and SBU four. Uh, one setting you might want to pay attention to is you know how how do you want these to display within the tool set? Uh, so think about when somebody is, is clicking on the, the drop down list box arrow to display these values to select one. How do you want those items to appear? Uh, do you want them to sort in a specific order or do you don't just want them to show up in row order? In this case, row, row, row order is fine with me. Therefore, I'm just gonna save that as is. That'll take care of my business unit lookup table. I need to create another one uh, down to lookup tables for custom fields. Uh, click new again and uh, this will be uh, my overall health right and the thing i want to do is this is going to be a, a lookup table that's used merely for 
selecting um, is going to be a custom field that the project manager selects to communicate graphically how their project is doing on an overall level. So not necessarily cost or schedule. It's basically the project manager's overall assessment. And, and typically we do have uh, customers that will have one that's manually set like this and then others that are automatically calculated. Uh, so, um, you know, we could have uh, projects tracking well, project is, is in the red. So, so I can either say that, um, use colors here, right? And then your process is out, outside the system. Okay. Uh, green would just mean that the project is you know anywhere in planning uh, up to the point in time where it's in kickoff. Yellow would mean it's it's in caution, and red there's certainly definitely issues going on with it. And we'll just leave them in the sort order. That takes care of that. And then I'm going to create custom fields. We'll click on new field up here, and we'll call this. Um, let's just call it SBU. We'll just keep things short. Call it SBU. It's going to be a project level custom field. It's going to contain text. That was what was contained in my lookup table. Here's where we specify well, where are the where's the data for this field derived. It's going to be that lookup table we created. And then we click here and we go ahead and locate that uh, field that we just created. And uh, we call that business unit. Do we want a default value selected in that? Uh, this field when we create a project by default and I actually don't because if it's the incorrect value and you don't remember to reset it to the right one, that wouldn't be a good thing. Um, is this going to display data or graphical indicators? Well, it's going to be data. It's not going to be controlled by a workflow. Um, so everything else is okay. I'm not going to make it a required field at this point. Therefore, we're just going to go ahead and save this. Then we're going to create another field. And this is our overall health field. Again, it's project level. Um, we'll go ahead and, and let it uh, select that. It's going to be this here. And then we have that overall health item that we selected. Now in this case, values to display, uh, I do want it to be graphical indicators. So the test will be equals in either case, right? And the value will be, remember we said green, yellow, and then we said red, meaning when the project manager selects green, what do we want to display? Well, we want a green indicator. When the project manager selects yellow, we want a yellow indicator. And when the PM selects red, we want a red indicator to be displayed. Um, that's that's the criteria for non-summary rows. I'm gonna go ahead and let it inherit that for the project summary as well, because that, this is gonna be our project summary records in this case. Other settings are okay. All right, so we took care of the first two steps. First step was create the lookup tables. Second step, create the custom fields and, and access or select the lookup tables as their uh, place in which the data is arrived. Third step was to create a view. All right, so I'm gonna select manage views. In PWA settings, and your views are grouped by where you access them. The first area is project, that's project level. The second is gonna be project center. And that's where I want to uh, select the new view that I'm creating. So here's, you saw those earlier. We displayed the summary by program and the summary by status uh, earlier. I could select both of those if I really wanted to. Um, matter of fact, I think I will select summary by program. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call a summary by, and we'll call that business, right? Unit. We'll click OK, and then the screen will refresh, and that new view will be in the Project Center grouping. We'll scroll down, and there's my summary by business unit. I do need to change this, though. If you recall from earlier, we created new fields, right? Um, so I can remove the ones that I do not need, OK? Um, in this case, I'm going to get rid of health, cost, and schedule, and ROI. I don't want those. What I do want is my overall health. Let's go ahead and find that. And there's overall health right there. And I don't want it all the way down at the bottom of the list, so I select it and I go ahead and move it to a more reasonable location. I'm just gonna move it to the right of the name, as you can see there. All right, and if you recall, business unit was the other field. Let's see. And there it is, my SBU. Go ahead and add SBU. I don't, I don't really care about the placement of that. I'm just going to leave it at the very end. What I do want to do, however, is change the grouping of this view to be by SBU. All right, so notice we have the grouping area here. Change the grouping to be by SBU. This view is done. We'll go ahead and click Save. Okay, great. 
views created, fields created, everything's in place so far, except um, I need to populate the values for the projects. Otherwise, it's really not gonna be that meaningful at this point. Uh, there's, there's actually a tool that you can download for free to do this. And I already downloaded it. When I, when I go navigate to site contents, it will show me all the items that are within this particular site collections. One, one's called a bulk edit. And this will allow me to bulk edit fields within my projects that are in this environment. And you'll see that it brings up all the different field uh, projects here, right? So what I can do is click this select fields button and add my overall health. And the other was SBU. So we'll go all the way down here. There's my SBU, add them both here. And then it reloads, right? So I can, you know, put some of these at green. Okay, so it looks like all the fields are updated. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, see if we can continue our testing here. We will exit out of our bulk edit tool. And um, now we're gonna go back to Project Center. So I'll click on Projects in the, the link here. There's one of those other views that we had previously seen. And there we go. So now if you look here, you'll see not only do we have summary by program, summary by status and phase and stage, there's my summary by business unit. Excellent and awesome. So let's go ahead and, and format this a little, expand the project name a little, expand that. I, I left the total cost and benefits fields in there from previously because I wanted to understand those fields. Let's go ahead and zoom out in the Gantt chart a little bit. So there's SBU1, all the projects in uh, Business Unit 1, Business Unit 2, Business Unit 3. There's the aggregate cost for projects in Business Unit 1 and the benefits, cost and benefit, Business Unit 2, Business Unit 3, Business Unit 4. We can see the graphical indicator for the overall health in all those projects. And, then, and again, the uh, Gantt chart representing the duration and the progress within each one of those projects within the business units. And that is the steps that you can take to you know, create your own project center view to group projects by a specific attribute, as well as create a graphical indicator to communicate graphically and very quickly the status of a project. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Hope you help. Thanks very much and have a great day.